today we are going to learn the implement of power fx in formula for columns for dataverse and dynamic 365 so we have two scenario and before talking about the scenario i want to tell you that there is a calculated type field which is out of the box field which is given by microsoft it's available in the dynamic 365 crm but right now in future it's going to deprecate it so for that in the power s microsoft have given us a new kind of data type field which is formula type so in that formula type field, what we are going to do, we have a scenario on the lead entity. The first scenario is we will determine lead type according to annual revenue. So we have a leave records and if revenue is zero rupees, so we will say that this lead type is non-profit lead. And if revenue is more than one lakh, we will say that startup lead. If revenue is more than 10 lakhs, we will say it's a small business lead. And if the revenue is more than one crores, we will uh, take lead type is mid-market lead. And if the revenue is more than five crores, then we will categorize it as uh, enterprise lead. So here we can see that these are our open leads and here we can see that our annual revenue is there as well. If you open a lead record, uh, here we can see annual revenue and what we need, we need to an add another uh, column here, which would be see the lead type and uh, and and we will adjust the lead type uh, according to annual revenue. For that, what we need, we need to go to our solution in our solution, uh, we will go to our uh, lead table and add a column. We will add a column, new column as lead type. And data type should be formula. And here we would uh, write down our formula. So this is the formula that if our value uh, annual revenue value would be this, then enterprise lead, and uh, if it's greater than this, mid uh, market lead, and greater than this, small market lead, and everything is here. So now we will uh, format would be text and click on save. Now our column has been set, and now we'll set this column to our form. Click go on form, open the form, and here we would add lead type column in our form. Here it is. We'll take it here and put it here. And then click on save and publish. Once it published, we will go to our record and give a hard refresh. Now it's published, go to our lead, give a hard refresh and open the same record just like Sean Passport. As we can see, lead type is here. And it's saying small business because the revenue is less than what the value we have put there. We will click save and close and we'll see that all the lead type is there or not for that. Click on edit table, add the table of lead type here. We'll do it fast. Close it and then lead type should be here. Click on apply. As we can see that all the lead type is here auto populated according to the annual revenue. So this is the first part of the video. The previous and the previous scenario was on the text type values that we will uh, that will be shown in the field. And this scenario is salary slip entity. And in that entity we have basic salary, house rent allowance, convenience allowance, and other allowances. And we have a provident fund and tax reduction fields also. So what we need to uh, calculate, we need to calculate net salary of employee. Uh, just like we have in the entity form, we open it. And as we can see that basic salary, HRA, convenience allowance, other allowances, PF and tax deduction, all the fields are here. And we need one more field, which would be, which would be net salary. And that in that field, everything will be calculated. So for that, we will go to our form first. In the table, salary table, open form. In the main form, we will edit it, create a new column to store net salary. Click on uh, new table column. Net salary would be here. Data type should be formula. And in here, we need formula. For that, open it. Check the logical name of it. We need basic, basic salary plus HRA. Plus 
convenience allowance. Then we will subtract this and this. Then we will add this field here. Click on save and publish. And once it's published, we will check that our formula is working fine or not. Now it's published. We will go to the form, do a hard refresh here. As we can see, that our field is added here. For testing, we will add some values. And then we'll save it. As we can see that our formula is working fine and it's calculating our net salary, everything is working fine. Adding these values and then subtracting these values in here. So that's it from our video. Please like and subscribe.